slow mo. Here comes that. Boom horse. Boom horse. Dead. <laughs> you got horse. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and today we're going to be checking out a brand new Warframe to go up and a quick build for her. So, if you're the type of player that just, dude, give me the build and I'll figure it out by myself, take the build. This is yours. Wanna talk some more? Fantastic. So, brief respite, we're going to be using this to survive together with Catalyzing Shields. This is your new, should I call it a new Void Key? Basically, this is what you use to keep rolling into Shield Gating. And with this amount of energy, we're going to have plenty to keep on spamming and spamming and rolling into Shield Gate. And that man, fantastic 1.33 seconds of full shield gate immunity. Equilibrium and Prime Flow. You might say this is overkill, but again, the point here is to completely spam non-stop. If you don't want to spam non-stop, you can drop one or either, especially if you're going to be using the following Sentinel. Take a look at this guy. It's the deck cube. You should use the Prime. I can't be arsed to farm it. Energy generator works fantastically well. Hold on. Why not the Synth mod? Because you need the Synth mods to trigger the whatchamacallit. The equilibrium not anymore nowadays equilibrium does work by itself i'm sure i'll mention it a couple of more times so you remember arcane energize fantastic molt augmented 40 power swing natural talent here does that is, is it necessary not really but i call this a massive improvement in actual gameplay i love playing with increased casting speed so much so that i actually use a couple of shards as well stretch you need one range mod there's no real point to overdo it with it continuity and streamline for the efficiency you can drop streamline so you can spend more on the abilities if you're comfortable with your energy therefore you're going to be surviving a bit better now that's the base build there's two more things which i do want to show you and point out before we get to the actual gameplay showcase of the build let's talk helmet we tried a couple of abilities when it comes to the helmet but overall i feel that her kit works very very well together you can simply kill everything by your two into your one into your four combo that by this point everybody should know and you get a whole lot more damage out of your weapons by using her free and that fantastic get out of jail free card you can experiment around with something like gloom maybe replace her one maybe you try grendel's thing that's totally fine however for the time being, I'm going to be recommending you keep all her abilities as they are because they do work fantastically well together. Archon shots. What are we going to put in? I put in this stuff. You don't like this stuff? You can put whatever you want. I love casting speed. As I said before, you'll see that my Warframe casts things very, very quickly, which makes it a whole lot more streamlined and better in gameplay. The problem is with casting speed, you're also increasing the casting speed of your four, your horse trample of death ability kali's rider's revenge thing and that also means that your invulnerability window for that specific abilities goes down so it's a bit of a trade-off bear that one in mind energy max on blue ability strength on red you can use whatever you want now it's important for you to understand exactly how that combo works so you can use it to max efficiency and damage it smells like fresh bread my wife is making fresh bread Ah, level 165 corrupted heavy goons with a steel path modifiers enable and the combinasha is two into one into four so two into one into four however if you do what i just did that's not the optimal way because you need to understand what your one does what does my one do well your one spins around you deals a bit of damage and then flies off into the distance applying viral damage to your targets slowing them down and increasing the duration of your curse that is your two ability the chipao the big sight over their head does not represent the actual curse you see them glowing that's your curse that with the current build will last you about 23 seconds so plenty of time to absolutely annihilate whatever stands before you the point here is do not horse until they have vital on them so do not horse until those sites actually reach your targets and spreads the love yes 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 fantastic let me show you one more presentation this should work like this so activate let's say i'm not in range right because the range on your sights is not really all that fantastic so i go like this one ha sights i go two i wait for my sights to land and then i force them to death yes one more time let's do that one more time i go ha look at my blades I activate the curse my blades go apply vital eat horse and die that's basically how it works oh and make sure your freeze up at all times unless of course it's on cooldown you cannot bring the cooldown down through any means I really don't think you need rolling guard as long as you have the energy to cast abilities, especially considering that you go invulnerable when you are casting your four. Granted, you need to bear in mind that with this much uh, casting speed, you are also effectively reducing your invulnerability window from your four. Yeah, so it's a trade-off. I prefer the streamlined gameplay. I think overall it's better, but you might feel differently. And this is like no gun gameplay. You, all you gotta do is find yourself a nice corridor, funnel them in, and you're basically done. 
Energy is good. Energy is good. Rolling Guard would have offered you an additional safety net. But I'm biased towards Rolling Guard. I had enough. I had enough of Rolling Guard. That's it. No more Rolling Guard. Can we survive without it? Is that something we can do? You're afraid you're gonna die? You see something big coming? Cast your port. Get that brief invulnerability when they're... Oh, I could actually stay here. Let's drop an energy pad and stay here. See what happens. I'm from time to time do this. Let's see if this works. I mean, enemies will have to come to me eventually. In the words of the immortal gamer, come at me, brah. Wait for that one to land. Now, granted, this might not be exciting gameplay, but point is you can. Yeah, I got bored of waiting there. Let's just play game. This works, boys! This works! And it's insanity strong. Uh, balanced. It's balanced, the guff is balanced, yes, the, well, perhaps a bit more damage, a bit more scalability, definitely, yes, that's what, uh, that's what we would need, yes, please, D. See reason that the goth needs more buffs. Look, my stream agrees, you know, they, they totally agree. Don't you, boys? Don't you? Ooh, let's see what happens when you fight an acolyte. That actually, like, no gun, no gun fight, right? And have this. Wow, full armor strip. Look at that. Dude, no gun gameplay. It took a couple of casts, but I got him, boys. We got him. Did you guys notice I haven't even popped my ghost thing? My free passive thing? That was a bombard. Eximus dude got, like, tricked. Beautiful. Go horse, be free, be free horsey, to roam the void, and kill whatever stands before you. Wait, is that a horse or all the horses? Do you even horse gameplay? What else can I show you? I can keep this up for quite a while. Survivability, no longer a concern. Energy, no longer a concern. For those that don't know yet, Equilibrium no longer requires the Synth mods. You can use it by itself. It was part of the changes of the Abyss <laughs> Patch. Yes, 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 good. That's not to say you can't use it one more. Oops. Why would you? What can I say? Uh, obviously, this looks very impressive because the goth is very impressive. If I may have one complaint, because I have to, otherwise it's not really a review. We're not really gonna be critical about anything. I would honestly say that the actual gameplay style is a bit face troll. Mash your face firmly upon die kaibard and roll. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? That's gonna come down to the individual, obviously. I think it's good for a good couple of hours. I also had somebody in the chat say, listen, man, after like a while playing her, that horse sound is freaking annoying. It's eerie and all whatnot. And you know what? I believe they have a point. Then again, you can do what I do. You see why I have my headphones on my shoulders and not on my head? <laughs> Guess why? Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why. You can turn off the sounds, and yeah, that's a minor inconvenience, but still something to be aware of. Alright, the goth, yeah. The goth is fucking awesome, I mean. That's, that's kind of cool. I like this build. It works beautifully well, it tramples down everything. Just keep in mind that you are kind of reliant on Mr. Spammy Spammy, yes? The brief respite, yeah, we want to continuously shield get, we got catalyzing shields over there, yeah? You want to make sure you are able to consistently shield gate. I get that 1.43 seconds of invulnerability. Yes, we don't have longer have the dragon key thing. That's all right. That's all right. Embrace the new stuff. Embrace the new stuff. Forget about the old thing. It's over. It's gone. Forget about it. We got another acolyte. It's Malice. Oh, isn't Malice the bubble guy? Shit, I gotta be careful. 
Yep, that's the bubble guy. But I dodged out of the way. And now I use my horse. Horse fire. Eat horse. Horse has killed him. Everybody knows one does not simply mess with a horse. It's not a wise idea. It's not something you should do in general. Who is crazy enough to like screw around with a horse? Seriously. Malice found out. Fucked around and found out. Oh no, am I gonna get demonetized now? And I do believe, my friend, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Ben Lazar. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was useful to you. If it was, drop a like, drop a follow, drop all of that good stuff. And enable notifications so you can see more of our frame content such as this. I'll catch you fantastic people in the next one. But we also got guides on Hydroid. You want to see the Hydroid video? Of course you do. And here's the thing. You want to farm the Goth, don't you? You want to farm the Goth efficiently. You want to know how to. Look at the cards right now for a full and detailed seven-minute quick guide on how to get your Degoth on. Catch you guys later. Bye.